What's up everyone? Pass Ebotter here. This is now the last game for December 5th, 2022, NBA game day. So we now got Indiana Pacers visiting Golden State Warriors. That game will actually happen at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that is going to be 11 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, here we go. Uh, by the way, the spread that is given, it's minus 10, and that's actually given towards the home team, the, the Golden State Warriors, the defending champions, all right? Let's take a look at the standings first, starting off with Indiana Pacers. Uh, they actually are from the Eastern Conference. They are ranked number 6 with a record of 12 wins and 11 losses. Well, for Golden State Warriors, they are at number well, they are at number 6 as well, but they belong to the West with the record of 13 and 11. Alright, so Golden State Warriors, they would have the home court advantage. They would have the advantage in terms of fatigue because Indiana Pacers also played last night. That was against Portland Trail Blazers, while Golden State Warriors had their rest. Um, in terms of momentum, Golden State Warriors also have the advantage uh, because they're coming off a win. Uh, matter of fact, approaching this game, Golden State Warriors, they are on back-to-back -back wins. Out of their last 10 games, they have won seven. So Golden State Warriors, they're starting to figure out that they're with them. They're, you know, they're, they're catching fire, if you know what I'm saying. While Indiana Pacers, after getting hot for quite some time, they actually got cold. Um, as a matter of fact, approaching this game, the Pacers have lost three games straight. Now, taking a look at the uh, availability of the players or the health of both teams. For Golden State Warriors, they have Andre Iguodala confirmed out. Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins are actually listed as questionable. Um, so for Indiana Pacers, they have three players confirmed out. Daniel Tice, he hasn't played a single game for the season. Chris Duarte and Tyrus Halliburton are all, are all listed out for the game. While TJ McConnell is actually listed as questionable. So in terms of health, we got to give the advantage towards Golden State Warriors as well because they only have three players listed as compared to Indiana, which has four. So everything is actually pointing towards Golden State Warriors, and I'm going to make this one quick. Um, Golden State Warriors, they are very good whenever they play at home. Their record is 11-1 whenever they are at home. It's almost automatic when it, whenever they play in front of their home crowd. Um, plus, again... Just like what I was saying, um, they're starting to catch fire. They're starting to figuring, they're, they're, they're starting to figure their rhythm. And Indiana Pacers, they're actually um, on the other side of the floor. If you know what I'm saying, they don't have their main guy, uh, Tyrus Halliburton. They are in a three-game losing slump, and I don't, I don't think uh, it'll be against Golden State Warriors at their home um, when they can actually stop that, and, you know, losing slump that they're having. Golden State Warriors will win. Golden State Warriors will cover the spread of minus 10. Again, that's Golden State Warriors minus 10. Peace out. Pase love. God bless.